I am uh, Pat Howard, I'm from South Africa, from a club called uh, The Stormers, Western Province in Cape Town. I'm a centre and I'm 23 years old. Uh, it's been great, I mean I got here last week Wednesday on the, about the 20th, so I uh, joined in the lads sort of uh, two weeks into their pre-season. Nice bunch of guys, um, it's a nice place, I mean I'm glad it's summer now, I've had the winter can get a bit much, but um, yeah, settling in fine, getting a car, getting a place, you know, it's been great. Long way from home, what influenced your decision to make the trip, make the jump? Um, to be honest, I have a, a, a Dutch passport, I've got uh, some European heritage and I actually my, my dad's got a British passport and some British heritage so it wasn't too much of a stretch for me to, to do that and obviously it, it takes away all the, the work visas and all that side of things. So um, I mean I know there's a lot more opportunities in, in Europe for um, for exposure and there are a lot more teams whereas in South Africa there's probably only five teams that you could want to play for. So there's a lot more opportunity for me to, to play a centre stage to, to get some exposure and to just improve my game in general and the Saints was an easy choice when I got an offer from them I didn't even think of looking anywhere else. You obviously know a bit about European rugby, having spent time in Winchester. How does it differ on the field? I would say, I mean, I mean, a lot of the, the reasons are, can be related to weather. I mean, South Africa is often very dry, and, and it's easy to play a lot, a lot of, um, of a running game. If that makes any sense. Um, you know, a lot of it's limited here, and then you get, might get a little bit more structured and start kicking the ball. You know, but. Um, the physicality is right up there, I can say that confidently. Um, the guys are conditioned, the guys are strong and the guys are just as keen, I'd say. And the talent is um, you know, it's all over the place. I mean, in South Africa it's a little bit more concentrated because there are less teams and it's a very big country and there's a very big rugby culture um, and not so much a, a football culture and a cricket culture. Um, but I can definitely say yeah, the, the rugby level is, is um, very strong. I mean, we've seen games against, uh, like I said, Toulon against the Sharks for instance or the Saracens against the Bulls where um, it's pretty much on a par and you can see the, the teams can, can sort of um, play at that level. Centre is quite a varied position, probably the most varied position on the pitch. What do you bring as a centre? I'd like to think that I'm a, I'm a strong runner and, and, and for a, a bigger guy I'd like to think that I'm actually quite fast and it's, it's one of the things that's a little bit more deceiving about me, people don't expect it. Um, you know, I'm not so much physical and confrontational as, as some people might expect. I, I, I like taking the outside um, break and, and, and going for the corner and things like that. I mean I have played a little bit more at wing um, at times and at the old club um, but centre is my preferred position and I, I do enjoy the, the space that 13 gives as opposed to 12. Um, it's very difficult on defence, I'll, I'll be testament to that, but it's a, it's a great position to play and I enjoy the opportunity there. South Africans in the past, all the way back to Gary Pagel, we've had Brian Majati, Jandre Kruger and uh, more recently GJ Van Velts have done well at the Saints. When you look at guys like that, does that make any influence on your decision? Do you look at that and see how they've done here? Definitely. I mean, and one of the things when, when you think of making this move, your agent says, right, um, I know the guy, talk to him and find out how he's done. You know, it sort of sets a precedent, you know, um, guys before have done it uh, and they've succeeded. You know, it just shows, um, shows me that it's possible, it's been done before and it's, um, you know, the, the path has already been set out for me. So it's, it's, it's given me great confidence to do something like that, knowing that um, guys have succeeded at that level and have been able to cope with all the various challenges that it presents. Yeah. Moving away from rugby, how are you settling <laughs> in off the field? Great, you know, I've just had to spend the first week obviously in, in, in a hotel while I get all the accommodation um, particular sorted out um, and vehicle and all of that. So, I mean, once I get settled in properly, I'll be able to explore a little bit more and find out where the hotspots are and the nice places to eat and go out for dinner and start to meet a few people. I mean, I hear there's um, some sponsors, the, uh, a person sponsors your company sponsors you and they invite you around for dinner just to help you get settled a little bit more. So, I'll get into that kind of thing um, in the next few weeks, I'm sure. What sort of person are you off the field? What's your, uh, what's your character? I'd say I'm very relaxed. I mean, obviously, with rugby players, you know, they tend to think we're lazy off the field because we do so much work when we at training and on the field that we don't want to do much else when we're off the field. So um, I have no problem with going and chilling at home and um, chilling with a couple of guys, playing some PlayStation, or go and watch a movie, do some 10 pin bowling, go for a coffee. Um, it really depends on, on what's available, really, you know. Um, yeah. Just finally, tell us something we wouldn't know about you. Uh, I love riding horses. Um, I used to play polo. Um, I used to, uh, well, home is a farm in the Drakensberg in South Africa. And we used to play polo, and it's not quite the posh English polo with wide brimmed hats and the, the champagne. It's more of the, the rural, uh, physical polo with a lot of batting. But I used to, used to do that when I was um, about from 11 to about 20 years old. And then I had to stop it for rugby, obviously.